Hey guys, Ohio Gaming. So, I was going to do a normal vlog, but I just wanted to do something different. As you can see, I'm in a lot better shape than I was Wednesday. Um, Sophie's doing somewhat better. Um, but I that video will come at a later date. I wanted to do something completely different. This is why I'm just laid back and, and everything else. I'm going to tell you my history with gaming. So, my history with gaming dates back like way back like you're talking about early 90s when i was just a little wee lad uh, my grandma had a sega genesis and i remember playing sonic and getting absolutely like i just loved the music in it and i just kept getting and i only made it to the second level and it wasn't until i was older that i got to the third fourth and then i just gave up because <laughs> i kept dying um and then you know sonic 2 and sonic 2 where i was you know i got i got to the third level in that and i kept dying until i got older and i went to the vegas level and i went to almost all the levels i went to the lava level and i think that's where i just ended up i ended up kept dying and stuff never collected the emerald and emeralds, emeralds, or whatever it's called, never collected them at all, um, just, um, the, the game, um, and then, you know, we're talking about, uh, we went from the Sega Genesis, and I remember one year, I think it was like when I was five or six, we got the Nintendo 64, and, um, we had a lot of games on there. We had Cruising USA. We had WCW NWO Revenge. WCW NWO World, World Tour. We had Mischief Makers, which is an awesome game. I wish they would remake it. Um, we had Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. We had ECW Unleashed, which was an awful game. Um, let's see. We had WCW Backstage Assault. WCW Mayhem. We had a lot of wrestling games. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Hey, you, <laughs> hey, you Pikachu. We had that. Um, what else do we have? I can't think of any more. I can't think of any more. Uh, oh. We had South Park too, but I ended up saying a bad word and my mom got rid of the game. My mom sold it. Um, man, I don't remember having any more games. Oh, uh, we had GoldenEye. I remember having that. We had uh, Super Smash Brothers, which is an awesome game. Uh, we used to play a lot of Battle Royals. In that game, or uh, Fatal, or, or battle, yeah, just you know, battle modes, you know, not battle royals, um, free for alls, um, which it was me, my mom, my brother, and then we I, we would just have a computer player playing it, um, and then I think that was it, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was it. And then, you know, we went to PS2. And, uh, or not. Yeah, we went to PS2 first. And we had a few games on there. We had GTA San Andreas, GTA Vice City, GTA 3 until I broke it. Uh, we had all the, well, I, I was basically, we had all the SmackDown vs. Raw games. Well, I did. Um, on the PlayStation 2, we had Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone uh, for PlayStation, and we had uh, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, which something happened to the game. I don't know what happened to the game, but something happened to the game, and we didn't have it anymore. Um, we had Tony Hawk Pro Skater, I think it was 3 or, three or 2, I can't remember, but we had one of those games. Whenever... Uh, the first create a create a park was or create a skating park was or whatever we had that, 
Um, we had Frogger for PlayStation. Um, we had uh, Pac-Man Museum. Um, or uh, Nam Namco Museum. I think Volume 2, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we had Unjam or Lammy, which... I missed that game. Uh, we have Poe Rapper, the Rapper 2, which I recently got back for the PlayStation 4, and that will be my next part of this video. Um, or that will be in a whole separate video. I'll talk about the PlayStation 4 in a second. Um, or in the next video. I plan on doing a vlog almost every single night leading up to Spyro. But, um, yeah, this is what's leading me up. We never got Spyro. We never got Spyro 1, 2, or 3. We had Rayman. And um, that was a good game. But we never got Spyro 1, 2, or 3. We had Theme Park, the Roller Coaster Tycoon ripoff Theme Park. Um, but I think we rented Theme Park. We didn't actually buy it. We rented it. And that was when renting games was like something special. You know, you went to a video store and they had all the videos lined up. But we had a relative, like, close rental store near us. We would go and buy and uh, rent games for like a week, and then you would have to return them after that week. Um, and then, you know, after the PS2, we went from PS2 to GameCube. And I don't remember much of my GameCube days, but I do remember getting Taz Wanted, Luigi's Mansion. Um, let me see if I can remember all the games. WWE Day of Reckoning 2. Um... Undercover Caw, Undercover 2, um, which is a very underrated game. Um, we got Need for Speed Underground 2 for GameCube, which I missed that game. Um, we sold it, and I want to play that game now. Um, we had, I had, I got Pokemon Coliseum when I got when I got older. I had some with Yu Gi Oh too, and I can't remember. Um, let's see what else do we what else do we get? Uh, or what else do we have? Uh, we didn't never we never I never got Super Mario Sunshine. It's a game that I never got. Um, Let's see, what else games do we get? Um, shit, I can't think of any. I had so many games. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to say I was, like, 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 a spoiled child because obviously our family didn't have a lot of money. But once my dad started working, mom started working, we started getting more games. Um... I was the big gamer. Me and my brother was big gamers. And I forgot to mention, we had Resident Evil 2, uh, 1 and 2, the two discs from uh, PlayStation, when Resident Evil 2 was on PlayStation. Um, we had Croc 2, which was an awesome game. Um, but no, uh, we, never, we, we never really got into Spyro. Um, I just... Which was which is a funny story. When I was younger, I was really into Crash, and um, just never really got into Spyro. I think it was just because we 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 was just so foreign foreign to like this new game, like Crash, like um, Spyro. What the fuck is a Spyro? And uh, we just never really got into Spyro. I just thought it was a girls' game, and never really uh, got much into Spyro. Um, but my third console, and this is where things get a little bit fishy, because I had the PlayStation 2 and GameCube for a while, and then I do believe that I had an Xbox for a while, and then I went from an Xbox to, um... Went back and forth to an Xbox and PlayStation 2 for a while. And then I went from a PlayStation 2 to an Xbox 360. And um, 
I still have some of my games for the Xbox 360. I'm waiting to be backwards compatible. Um, but, um, yeah, from there, I went from all the SmackDown vs. Rawls on that game, from WWE 12 to WWE 2K14. Um, we had, I had all the DJ Hero games, all the G... Well, not all of them, but I had G, GH3, GH2, GH1... Uh, for the original PlayStation 2, yeah, we had that for the original PlayStation 2. I can thank my brother for that one. You know, we had uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica for PlayStation 2 also. We had that also. Um, as for, you know, Xbox, I had um, Modern Warfare 2. Like I said, I had all the SmackDown vs. Raw games. I had... Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil Raccoon, uh, Operation Raccoon City, um, Modern Warfare, or Call of Duty Black Ops 1, 2, um, Modern Warfare 3, um, there's a lot of them escaping me at the moment, Grand Theft Auto 4, and GTA 5, of course, you know, GTA 5, they took that when I took my Xbox. I sold, I sold my Xbox. I sold my Xbox 360. I never should have let them get, got any of my games, but they did. Um, after that, like, there's not really much I can say. Oh, fuck, I can't remember. I, I just can't. Oh, my God. I just back up a little bit. When we got to N64, I remember some of my games now. We had Super Mario 64, of course. We have Mario Kart 64. That was the two other games I was missing. Um, but yeah. And if I find... And if I remember any more... I will let you guys know. Um, but my first actual game console... And well, that was in like the 90s... Was probably a GB Game Boy... And I had a few games. I had all the Pokemon games, of course. I was a big Pokemon fan. Still are now, but not watching the new episodes. I'm still stuck in the 90s watching the old episodes. Because I truly believe the old episodes, are sti they still hold up. Um, but yeah, I um, went from Xbox, and now I'm at the Xbox One and PS4 era. Um, never had another Nintendo console except for Nintendo GameCube. Uh, and I had the Game Boy SP, um, which was an upgrade from the Game Boy Advance. But other than that, didn't really play much of a Nintendo console. I plan on getting the Nintendo Switch at some point. But I can't remember. Uh, or I can't wait until I get one. Because I don't think I'm going to show the games off. But I think I'm going to play it and enjoy it. I know I'm probably going to get Super Mario Ar Odyssey and uh, Mario Kart Deluxe Edition. And stuff like that. But other than that, I don't plan on uh, showcasing my games on uh, Nintendo. Um, I get copyrighted. <laughs> um, but no, um, this is just, you know, a complete rundown of my history with games. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that uh, on PS4, there's a deal for PlayStation Plus. And uh, I'm not sponsored by them, but um, they got a video, they got a uh, game out now that's like 425, 427. It's uh, Life is Strange Complete Season, episodes 1 through 5. Um, that I'm planning on playing, waiting for Spyro to come out. But um, I'm going to let you know, like, I don't have much of a history with Spyro. Like I said, me and my brother barely played it. Like we only played the I only played the demo for like five seconds when we find the cheat codes for uh and the Crash Bandicoot warped. Um so yeah, we didn't really have a history with uh Spyro. Um so when we when I play Spyro it will be a completely blind experience. And please nobody ruin it for me, because I I'm actually excited to play it blind and uh holding the huge expectations now i know some people are complaining that spyro is on not on a disc i don't care um me personally i buy everything digital now 
So even if I do, even if it does not come on a disc, I don't give a shit. Um, I have bought Red Dead Redemption digital. I bought um, a lot of my games digital. The only way I'm gonna play a game on a disc if my parents buy it, um, which I'm thinking about this year, just asking for a lot of PlayStation cards. That way I can buy all my games digital and not have to worry about um, losing my disc or anything. And um, But yeah, there's my history with games. If you like this video and want me to do like more something like this, that's a laid back experience, what I am doing now. Remember to hit that like button. If, and if you can, hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to my channel. As always guys, I love you guys to death. And don't forget to keep gaming and don't forget... You keep being positive. Peace.